Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into your love story tarot reading for the year 2021. I will be using Amira's Love Oracle cards uh, to have a look and see what themes, messages and cards are coming up for you that could determine the way romance and love unfolds for you this coming year. Um, I know we're all looking uh, forward to a bigger and a better year this year after everything that's going on Aries. So I'm glad you could join me for this. Uh, if you like the deck, I will list it below in the description box um, and also where you can purchase this from um, and hopefully there will be something here that gives you a little bit of a glimpse into 2021 in regards to love. If of course you are after private reading with me all the information that you require is listed below in the show more section. Um, otherwise let's have a look what's coming up for the sign of Aries. Your love story what are the themes for Aries? Okay, the first card you have is Gossip. All right, so people are going to be talking about your love life. People are going to be talking about your relationship or it's going to become sort of public knowledge. Um, a lot of gossip going around and, uh, or rumors going around your relationship or someone that you might be connected to. Now, uh, you know, you, don't always, you shouldn't always believe what you hear, Aries. So there's going to be a lot that's actually more false than real. So you might be prone to a lot of rumors around your connection. You know, it can come from jealousy here. Um, but there's going to be people talking about your connection. They've, they're, they're, there's people with opinions here. Uh, they'll have something to say about someone that you're seeing. So you might get a few raised eyebrows or objections or... Um, something around this around this around someone um you could meet someone who does like to even um in 2021 uh you could meet someone who does sort of like to exaggerate things maybe they like to gossip maybe they like to engage in that i personally think it's more to do around your love life like you'll have quite a bit of gossip around you and around your relationship so um be prepared for that uh, you're quite resilient Aries so I know you will be um, but just for some of you if you aren't aware you know um, there will be people talking especially could be females um, colleagues sisters mothers female friends um, female exes um, predominantly females here that are doing the gossiping um, but it could be you know that it, I, I consider it to possibly be a test you know if you're in a connection this year uh, and there's gossip around your relationship unless it unless it turns out to be actually true you know um, you should take everything with a grain as a, with a grain of salt because not everything is going to be accurate um, so there could be some misinformation here um, that you have to be aware of um, in 2021 you could be involved in a love scandal even okay you've got communication so you can see she's pictured here texting and communicating um Aries, so you're going to be in talks with a lot of people here, okay? It's either you're going to have several admirers. Um, you're always going to be in communication with, with someone here. So um, this isn't like a period of being single the whole year and not having communication. You're definitely having quite a bit of action around you this, this year. Um, you're always going to be talking to someone if you're single. You're always going to have someone you're communicating with. Uh, if you're waiting to hear back from uh, someone from the past, um, this may be the year that you make that communication. So if you've been waiting for quite some time to hear from this person um, or, yeah, to reconnect, to, to, to hear how they are, um, you'll, you'll be getting a lot more communication. Um, it could be more online communication, like through the phone, WhatsApp, um, online dating apps. Um, it could even be a long distance thing. Um, but it's almost like she's glued to her phone here. So someone is definitely going to have your interest, but I think you're always going to be, you're either always going to have someone, um, or if you're currently with someone, then it could indicate a lot more effective communication, you know, being more open with each other, um, being more vulnerable with each other, maybe, you know, really saying what's on your mind or sort of phrasing it differently. If you've got something going on here, Aries, your ability, uh, to be able to do that will be, uh, quite heightened for you I think in the upcoming year um, but it's like nothing exists around her Aries so you can I feel like there is a connection for some of you where it's like it's going to be you and them and nothing really exists outside of that you know it's sort of like you're so committed you're so interested and you know we all go through it at least in one at one time uh, or another 
you're definitely going to feel that, I think, in, uh, in the year. Okay, we have the Ice King that has come up. Um, he's a very alpha energy Aries. So some of you have an alpha male or an alpha female. Um, we see the lion here. So this could be someone under the sign of a Leo who's going to be very predominant around you this year. Um, you know, the Ice King is is really, is like the provider. He's like the protector. Um, he's not always easy to get to. Um, he is loyal because the lion is here, you know, pride, respect, these sorts of things um, are of value. But he's not the easiest to get to. Um, he is quite intimidating. So there's going to be parts of your love life uh, or parts to someone that you connect with in 2021 that is going to be super intimidating. You're going to feel intimidated by this person. They're going to intimidate you. Um, you know, he's, 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 uh, he almost seems void of emotion. He does what he needs to do, Aries. Um, maybe this is you. Maybe you're identifying as the Ice King, okay, if you're a male watching. Uh, it could also be that you might be, um, if you're a woman watching, you're meeting that Ice King. And... It's not going to be an easy task. There's definitely going to be something about this person that intrigues you, Aries. Um, they're a provider. They're a protector. They're quite alpha. Um, they they take a lot of initiative, and I think you're going to really admire that. But um, their heart will not be easy to get to. And it could even be that the Ice King, you know, has a lot of um, uh, gossip or rumors, or there's there's sort of like um, a reputation. But this could also be you. It is centered more on you, um, Aries. So it, it could be that you need to uphold uh, your reputation in a situation here. So I, I sense that there may be um, there may be periods around this year where you feel like your reputation is damaged because of someone that you're dating or that you dated. So it's almost like you have to be um, you have to be prepared for that type of thing. Um, but this is what I get from this is confidence or even overconfidence here in your love life at times. Okay, we've got the wallflower. And you can see she's sort of sitting and waiting here. She's, uh, she's, she's the one on the side. Very interesting pairing that you have here coming together for some of you. The Ice King and the Wallflower. Um, straight away, they're not overly compatible with each other, Aries. So straight away, I'm seeing that you might connect with someone you're not completely compatible with. You're actually very different. Um, and I don't know if it's that's why the gossip is going to start. The rumors are going to start because you feel like you're so different from this person. But you're still going to be drawn to them for one reason or another. Um, there may be times where you, you're sort of sitting on the sidelines, I think, with a wallflower. Aries, maybe this is a message here that you've sort of been sitting on the sideline and you've got someone in your sights, okay, someone that you've wanted to communicate with, someone that people talk about, someone that you've spoken about before, um, but you've never actually you've never actually pursued this connection. And maybe there's a message here from the cards that wouldn't 2021 be the time when you pursue that and not be the wallflower. So it's important to take opportunity when it comes, Aries, opportunity to say how you feel to a loved one, um, to confess or forgive an ex, to confess to or forgive an ex, uh, to approach this person that maybe is coming across as the ice king or even the wallflower. Um, but this is like the wallflower is not as confident, okay, as the Ice King. She sort of she sort of sits, watches, and waits. Um, and I think if you're going to be doing a lot of this, there could be potential for you to miss out on something grand here, Aries. So opportunity, you know, when it's there, um, when the iron is hot, you must strike. You can see there's people going out, dancing, talking, mingling around her, but she just wants to sit home, um, Aries. I do feel for a lot of you, you're going to be staying at home majority of the year and maybe communicating with someone online. I don't know if it's because of the pandemic and or, or even like a foreign love, um, but you're going to be doing like the online thing, the video calling, uh, the, you know, you don't really maybe want to go out. Or, or do anything because you just sort of want to connect with this person and only speak with them. You might have been, might not even be interested in us socializing 
maybe that's when you're going to come across as the ice king or queen um, and sort of like push and brush other people away because you've got that person and you're happy to um, you know communicate with them this year okay you've got the courting man okay some of you courting man and ice king um, it could be two different people for the ladies watching. For the men watching, it could be a fellow man. Um, uh, or the courting man, it could be, um, he's he's really the womanizer. I see the courting man as the womanizer. You know, he's sophisticated, um, he's, he's attractive, he's successful, he presents himself quite well, but he's available, okay? And he knows he's available, and he has a lot of confidence. Uh, Aries, what I get from this is you're either meeting this courting man or you are the courting man. Um, it could be that through a courting man you find love. Um, but courting means you are pursuing connection, you are pursuing romantic relationships. So I think for the most part, a lot of you are meeting someone who is available and is courting. And there's a lot of dating, I think, going on. But I think for so many of you, it's either going to be dates that are like, you know, stay at home, watch a movie together, you know, cuddle up or be on, on, on call or video call rather than like go out and party or something like that. Um, he's also dressed in a suit here. I mean, this one's wearing like, a, you know, this clad in armor. It can almost resemble a uniform. So some of you could be connecting with someone who walks, who works in the corporate realm or is quite well dressed. Uh, maybe it works for fashion uh, or, you know, maybe they wear a uniform even for work as well. Um, that could be the case for you, but that's very exciting, um, Aries. I will leave your reading at that. So thank you again so much for tuning in. Um, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy this content, please don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe. Um, otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you soon. So take care and bye for now.